Hey Breezers, how are you guys? We have a Shani and Rev update. So G-Man is actually live doing a panel and they must have been watching it because Jason uploaded a video to G-Man titled My Final Word to G-Man, A Sad End to a Beautiful Beginning. You need mental help, Gary. All right, let's get his PayPal off the screen and let's go ahead and watch a little bit of this together. Oh, Brent, uh, I was going to do something. What? What were you going to do? Do you want that on the video? Yeah, that's... The, you, she knew that was going to be on the video. Come on. Fine. You heard what she said. You wanted us to. Okay, that was that was something. And, and well, was that towards Nadia? Or no, just the, it was a hypothetical scenario, right? Yeah, there was this type of... This was back in the days. Okay. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi. Jesus is king. And um, See, we are right still off surviving. the bat... Stop hiding behind religion. You throw that out there so people will say, oh, they must really be, you know, into the word, into the... <laughs> no, you hide behind it. ...in the wilderness. Thank you. So, uh -huh. because of you, we are surviving. So if you want to support us, you got my PayPal down there, and I got the car. Let me correct you. You mean, so if you want to enable us so we don't have to work, so we don't have to get off our butt and do anything... So we don't have to take care of ourselves. If you want to enable us so we don't hit our rock bottom, if you want to enable us and slowly hurt us some more, <clears throat> enabling them is keeping them stuck. Stuck in whatever addiction it is that they have. And everything, it works great. So thank you for everything you give. Because this guy that was helping us has turned out to be, wow. Now I'm going to say up front, before I say anything, Okay. Uh huh. I have mental illness. I am not saying these things to Gary. And this is what this is about. And this is the final video I'm ever going to do on Gary Lamont. Who believes this is the final video? I don't. I don't believe that one bit. Also known as G Man, also known as Sowing and Reaping Channel on YouTube. Okay. I called this guy my brother. I called this other, this brother my friend. Even more than that, I called him a friend. We talked. We we shared. Uh, so everything was fine when he was supporting you guys, right? And now that the support isn't there, that's why we're making these videos. That's why we're so upset because the truth is coming out. I mean, I haven't watched G-Man that much. I've just I started watching the panel. I've seen one other video, and it sounds like. They didn't want to help you anymore because you're not helping it yourselves. Why is it somebody else's responsibility to take care of two grown adults? Of things that have happened with us, we've we prayed together over Shani's spaghetti. Over Shani's spaghetti. Together. That's how important it was. They prayed over Shani's spaghetti. They're with the boys. This man has prayed with my sons at a table. Why did but you... I'm going somewhere with this. What was the point in adding that in there? You're not expecting, trust me, okay? This is like a horror movie, okay? Ooh, this is like a horror story in real life, okay? This man was very close to our family. And I want to reiterate a little detail. It wasn't just that you guys were close. It was. It seemed like he was supporting your family. I, that is now known of, to the public about Mr. Okay, I had to cut it off and make it two clips because he just um, doxed G-Man. So, okay, let's continue watching. Guys, from three to four years, institutionalized because of anger issues. And I'm telling you, when well, you have a somebody, when somebody can turn so fast like this, I guarantee you this man's about 47 years old now. Okay. I'm sure that Gary has had many people in his life that he's done this to, that he's done to me and Shani. That he will Can get... somebody help me out what exactly, like I said, I haven't watched that much of G-Man. I don't know the whole story with that. I just know he was supporting Shani and Rev's family. What did he do that they are so upset about other than he doesn't want to support them anymore? And he's saying, hey, these people can work. Hey, I've tried to get them jobs. Hey, I've tried to help them in this area. That's what I've seen. So if, am I missing something? Did he turn on them so terribly? 
or he just doesn't want to support them anymore and he's saying hey you shouldn't support them either because this is what they do with your support close to you and then when when you least expect it he makes a turn and this is this is like i see in it what gary is is a textbook narcissist because every time something goes wrong it can never be gary's fault ever Oh my gosh, are you talking about you and Shani right now? Were you holding up a mirror when you said that? I cannot tell you how many times that G-Man told me something on the phone about money, about an amount of money that's totally different from each other time, and then I'm exp expected to know the accurate amount of money. These types of things constantly. And they're, well, why didn't you know that? You, do you told me this. I didn't say that absolutely ridiculous in dealings with people i'm gonna this is like serious i don't know how anybody could do business with him because he'll tell you oh yeah i'm making a do business how are you doing business with him order for a thousand dollars and then he'll call you the next day and say it was for 500. the guy is not right cognitively even but i this is the thing that really is crazy okay what's the thing he, he plots listening. these things out in his, in his head, and he actually did have a plan to go to Texas and, and, and bodily harm on Dragnaught and his family, and, and Shani and our, I are witnesses to it, okay? Do we know this for a fact? Is there proof, or are you just trying to spread information that could harm somebody? Is that the truth, you guys? My point in saying this is not to be malicious towards... So it seems that they're just going to keep saying his G-man's full name, and I don't know if that's fully out there, and I don't want to be part of it. So I had to cut it off again. Let's go ahead and watch a little bit more. ...these eyes and stop bullying him, okay? Because he's severely mentally ill. He puts it down. If you're telling people not to bully somebody else, why are you making a video about them? I got Jesus, I don't need anything else, and it's bullshit. You, you know you need therapy, Gary. You do. You should be in long-term therapy, and I'm sure the doctors at the institutions told you that before they gave you your walking papers after being under their roof. Again, are you looking in a mirror when you're saying this? For three to four years. G-Man is unstable in all his ways. That's, that, that would be a Bible phrase, too, okay? He really is, and it's because he's a textbook narcissist. He has narcissistic tendencies, and every scenario, if you know this guy, you're really going to have to know this. I want you to know this about Gary. I'm, ta I'm finding it very hard to, believe, or to take anything Jason's saying seriously when he's calling somebody else unstable. Is this real life? Is this really happening? To get himself out of trouble, he will always play another person against the other. This is a ta tactic of narcissists and sociopaths, actually. He would do this constantly with me and Shani. He would shit-talk me to Shani and then behind my back, and then he would shit-talk Shani to me behind her back. It's the, it's the middle man play one from the middle you come around the I back I don't know to avoid all this in the future how about you just don't have somebody else supporting your family stab the other one that's exactly what this guy does and this is why he's he was put in an institution I'm sure of it you can't deal with people like that dude and expect to be okay in society cuz you How would you know about any anything about being in society or a productive member of society how would you know? You cut the wrong motherfucker, dude. And yeah, you got a real bad problem. This guy, this guy should be institutionalized again. And I think there's plenty of evidence on the internet to show this weird intro. Well, so should you. So I guess you can all go together. With him with a knife. Do you remember that intro where he was licking a knife? Do you remember that? No, didn't see it. Like, like, I would have you. excused that as childness, uh, childish behavior in, like, a horror movie or something back then. But before I knew him in real life, and I see... Childish behavior? I, I would hope nobody's licking a knife. This sounds very weird. That he can be an angel. 
He can be an angel walking through the door and just blessing you with everything that he could. And then the next second, he could turn to you and cut you. So he can be an angel blessing you. So this is what it sounds like to me. Again, I'm going to say I haven't watched enough of G-Man. I, I don't know. But it sounds like everything is okay as long as this person is supporting you. But because they're not helping you financially anymore, they, they've turned their back on you. Again, you can avoid all this in the future by supporting yourself and not having to rely on another person. That is dangerous, folks. So, so, yeah, I, I think that's really, this is the last video I'll do on him. Oh, yeah, And you're right. not going to hear me mention the name Gary Lamont Moore ever again. I'm sure you will Never tomorrow. Never again. Uh, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ for my brother. I, I pray in the name of Jesus that he turn from this vicious, uh, ungodly, um, juvenile saber-rattling. Uh-huh. Useless clanging cymbals. That is what, Gary, you have to really acknowledge this in your heart. That a lot of what you think you've done for the kingdom of God is absolute clanging cymbals to God's ears. Are we holding a mirror up to ourselves or what? Oh my gosh. And this is, do you, you, I, I'm somber right now, bro. Like a spirit of heaviness just came on me, brother. You really have to evaluate what you've been doing. Okay, I'm going to say this. You're casting all this judgment about what they're doing and with the kingdom of God and everything else. Have you ever asked yourself, is what you're doing online bringing people closer to God or chasing them away? I want to know if you've ever thought about that. Do you think what you're doing online day after day is bringing people closer to God? I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean. It's a genuine question. But you have this amazing mission with the black Hebrew Israelites. You don't care, man. You are way too deep into this arena stuff, and you need to come out of it. Jesus Christ is going to absolutely smash your knees apart if wow. you don't stop this. You need to go back to the gospel. You need to go back to why, you, why I knew you were here. You got some kind of unclean spirit of, of contention and division, and you need deliverance. May Jesus Christ rebuke and correct you. And may Jesus Christ give you the want and the need to support yourself and go look for a job. <laughs> if we're going to be throwing out prayers here. All right, you guys, let's have a respectful conversation in the comments. I hope you guys are having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are. Let's shake off any bad vibes, negativity. Shake, 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 shake. And I will see you guys so soon. Bye.